Yes, sir. You're truly big Stewie checking in. JD Supplies guy on the radio. Excuse my language, but I have LL fucking Cool J in the building. <laughs> I want to start off like that. The man has been light skinned before light skins was light skinned. <laughs> okay, before Drake was Draken. I mean, you've been doing it for a long time. Like, no question. I don't think that, now I, I don't say this as, as, as humbly as possible, that I just feel like on the real 50 years of hip hop, you have broken down and shut down and kicked down so many doors for black entertainment as far as men being in movies over 30 films, you know what I mean? Being in hip hop and being one of the originators, one of the cats that just started off being like, you know what, I'm about to rap about these women. And that's what I'm sticking to it. Hey, Lil Cool J, ladies and gentlemen, what's up, man? Glad to be here, man. Glad how, to be here. How you feeling? I feel great, man. I feel excellent. You know, celebrating 50 years of hip hop, you know, having so much fun, um, just getting out here, really elevating the culture, um, celebrating the culture in a major way, making sure that, you know, all of these artists, um, get treated the way they deserve to be treated. You know, you look at like, I look at other genres, I look at like, you know, Bob Dylan, I look mm. at Springsteen, I look at, you know, um, Bono or Mick Jagger, and I think about some of, you know, my contemporaries and some of the artists in hip hop culture, and my mission has just been to make sure that they get celebrated and elevated that same way. Right. So that's been the main mission. And then, you know, having fun, being on tour, giving people the type of, 50 years of hip hop experience that they they haven't had because there was no way for them to get this right. for them to get this type of original presentation like this right. and so it's it's amazing nonstop shows the the show was like you know three and a half four hours of nonstop music come on there's now. no set changes come on now it's uh it's a lot of fun man I'm having a good time so let me ask you a question why do you think that hip hop I feel like um, especially hip hop our culture is so quick to be like that's the old rapper. That's the old artist. When other genres of music never grow old, they tour and do music forever, like, and still, like, recording, like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I think, I think in a lot of ways we're spoiled, right? Mm. You know, um, the genre's only 50 years old. Right. So it's very difficult to have a sense of history when you have something that's that young. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it takes time. Those are things that take time, that growing, that, that, that's something that you grow into. That's where, you know, somebody like myself needs to step up and say, okay, now this is that's why now this year you feel like you can love everybody from from Lil Baby to Dirk to Glorilla, mm. right? From Sexy Red all the way to LL Cool J, right. Public Enemy and De La Soul. Come on and, now. and it's all cool because that cultural continuity requires a little elbow grease. Right. You know, you, you can't just assume that. Now you have a lot of parents though that are handing the music down to their kids in a wonderful way. Like our shows are multi-generational, right? So you have parents who are my day one fans who've been there with me since the beginning and you have kids who know me as a host or know me as an actor who right. um, aren't as familiar with the music but then walk away blown away because they're like, wow, well, I guess this is why these people have been around so long. Right. There's a reason for that. Right. So. I think that's an opportunity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's good. Definitely doing it. Do you feel like um, our culture is being attacked? Right now, there's a lot of different cases going on as far as just period. Like, our rappers are get, are dying like like, <laughs> like every other day. Mm -hmm. From Dolph, rest in peace, to Nipsey Hussle. There's a lot of violence in our community, in our hip-hop generation right now. What do you see the cause of that? And, like, and how can we even possibly start changing that? Well, you know, our community, that's, you know, the, the question of what goes on in our, in our community is a deep one. You know, um, a lot of it has to do with just lack. Mm. And um, when people don't have a lot, you know, they're willing to make, to do certain things to get more. And that puts people in danger. Mm. So that lack, whether it's lack of finances, whether it's lack of information, whether it's lack of a, just a life approach that's effective, you know, like that lack, is a, it's an issue. Right. <clears throat> you got to have an abundance mindset. So you have people who have been given losing formulas. Like mm. the playbook that's been handed down to them has been lo a loser's playbook. Right. And they're still playing by it. So we just got a lot of work to do in that area. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me, as a people. But that being said, I, I don't believe that that's the end for us. Mm. Like, I just think that it's just tough, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, people want a lot of things, and, you know, you have social media, which 
makes everybody think like it's it's the whole world's highlight reel. Right. Right. So you have a lot of people that live in that space of comparison. And when you live comparing yourself to other people, you get yourself in trouble. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it breeds envy. It breeds contempt. You know, you can't judge your vertical by that guy's vertical. Come on now. You have to judge your vertical based on your calf muscles, your quads, what you do in the gym. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of people, we're dealing with a lot of things in that area. And then also spiritually, you Mm. know what I'm saying? Like being spiritually centered and grounded is incredibly important. Right. Knowing that, believing in God, knowing that God is inside of you and acting appropriately with that in mind. You know, I was when I was riding in the car today, I was thinking to myself, I was seeing people walk by, mm-hmm. and I was realizing that, you know, God is in all of us and how we're all connected. All you got to do is just be patient and take a moment and peep that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things, you know, but, but our people are not, we are strong people. Right. And are loving people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just some disconnects. But that's society as a whole. Mm-hmm. We just have to work on that and be better. So let me ask you a question. Do you think it's, do you, would you blame it a lot of the stuff and the violence on their lyrics to the music? Because sometimes I just feel like people would make choices of what they rap about. I feel like every guy, everybody feels like now in this generation feels like they have something to prove, have to be the toughest when it's like, I feel like you, you were more play and more cool. You was more like, let me do my thing and stay in my lane. Well, I mean, look, everybody's going to be their self. I have lots of different types of music, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're talking about the part of my catalog with ladies. I got all kinds of songs. Right. The thing is, you know, it's the chicken and the egg. Mm. You know, the kid is inspired to write that, but why was he inspired to write that? Mm, okay. Before he was a rapper, he was inspired to write that. So if I'm describing my community and I'm describing what's going on around me, right. how can you blame the lyrics? Okay, no. It, it ain't, it's not the lyrics. The, it, the, 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 the inspiration is the community. The community, the lyrics came from the community. Mm. Community didn't come from the lyrics. Now, what happens is it becomes a cycle. Mm. <clears throat> it does become a cycle, but we've been going through a lot for many, many years. Right. Right? Right. So is there room for more, for better songwriting? Yes. Is there room for artists to be comfortable completely being themselves and write songs about things other than just getting high and getting money? Yes. Is there, is there room to make more songs about other things other than, you know, I'm going to get the ops and, right. you know what I mean? Yes. However, people have to be free to do what they do. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge. I can't judge a youngster's inspiration. That would be wrong to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's unfair because then we're, we're not treating them as artists. We're treating them as something other than artists. Right. And also, we have to remember that when young artists write songs, they have imaginations too. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not like we're in this world and like these artists aren't really artists right. and can't imagine and dream. You know, we have to give them a little more credit, mm. I think. And I think sometimes people have a tendency to belittle their contributions just because of what they're talking about. Right. And I think that's that's not the right approach because I, I, I respect them as artists. You know what I'm saying? And in hip hop, that's the thing I've been trying to get people to understand. We are artists. Right. This is an art form. It's not just a hustle to get out of the hood. Mm. I know some people use it that way. But originally, like, it really is about, like, you want to make it out, but it was making it out through the voice, through mm. sharing what's inside of you, not just pure greed. Come on now. You know what I mean? I'm telling you now. I could talk to you all day now. We the, the concert is tonight. Y'all yeah. make sure you go check it out for us. You know what I mean? You ain't been on stage in 30 headliner show in 30 years. You know what I'm saying? You got the Roots, Jazzy Jeff, Rakim, Salt and Pepper, amazing show. Go check my my, my, my big homie out, my yeah. OG out. No, it's, it's gonna, gonna be go crazy down. and it's nonstop. And it's it's like this is one of those shows you just if you really want to understand 50 years of hip hop mm. and you really want to kind of get a be a fly on the wall, <clears throat> get a taste. This is a show to check out. I'll be there. It's going down. Trapping at the Trap House. LL Cool J, ladies and gentlemen. No question. LL Cool J, Knicks. It's going down. Feels true. Let's get it.